Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Danny's Life and Travel and today I'm going to talk about um, Windows 10 and how it completely crashed on me. So I tried to um, basically restart it, you know, go through all the advanced options because I did have all the advanced options. It was going through the um, automatic uh, repair, uh, that cycle and the diagnosing system uh, problems or whatever it's called. So it's going through those two uh, things. So it's saying diagnosing your PC. Okay. So I had those two things, and um, you know, it went through them. It didn't work for me. Um, and then I tried all the advanced options. It didn't work for me. It wouldn't even rec recognize the um, the uh, Windows um, repair disk that I made, or uh, when I downloaded Windows 10 to a CD, and still it wouldn't work with that. So this video is just to show you how to how to fix it how to get around that um there wasn't any real fix where i could just fix the system what i what i did end up doing is formatting it but it wasn't as simple as that so um, at one point i tried to format um the the hard drive that i have you know as you know i have uh, an ssd that is used as a cache to um to make my mechanical drive faster so it's the intel rapid storage technology and the uh, smart response technology uh, part of it so i have two hard drives working together to to make my computer fast so um, i tried to format the mechanical hard drive which is a larger hard drive that i have and um, it wouldn't work so but the one good thing that did come out of it so if you if you do try and do this is when when I did try to format the the mechanical hard drive um, with Windows 7, um, because I didn't, you know, it wouldn't recognize Windows 10 at all. So Windows 7, at least it would recognize that. But um, what it did was when I tried to format it, it created the Windows old folder. So that had all my old files in there. So that was a good thing there. Um, but the format didn't actually work. Okay. So the Windows um, 7, the f when I tried to format the mechanical hard drive, it wouldn't even work. That wouldn't even work. It would recognize the disk, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me format the, the hard drive. So what I ended up doing was, um, you know, I, I thought about it a lot, and in the end I decided to, to put an operating system on my SSD. The SSD is 60 gigabytes, and the mechanical hard drive I have is about 500 gigabytes. I mean, it comes up as 465 on the system, but it's 500. So what I did was I I put the operating system on the SSD. Um, so I, I put Windows 7 on the SSD. The SSD is a cache, so it's empty anyway. And if you go into, um, say, RAID, you know, in at the beginning you pr press. So you start your computer, you press Control-I, and uh, you keep pressing that, and you'll go into the, the RAID, you know, uh, the RAID system. And you can go into that, and you can completely... Uh, clear you know or delete uh, the raid and basically clear the cache remove the cache you can do that so so there you go so once you press control now you get into this so it tells you here now it says name of disk port this is my is 500 gigabytes roughly um, that's my mechanical drive and you can see here that there's no um, SSD, there's no SSD drive. So it says the cache device associated with the accelerated disk volume is not present. Type R to remove the disk volume um, acceleration or D to disable the acceleration disk. Yeah, so here you're going to press R. So if you press R here, then it'll remove it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that because I don't need to do it. Um, and if, if you do all of that, the the hard drive the 60 gigabyte hard drive is essentially empty so you can use that you know just as a normal hard drive so that's what I ended up doing so I put my operating system on that and then um, I started the computer and uh, you'll see as you can see you know I'm as I'm talking I I put up the the video you know uh, so you can see what I went through so just have a look at that as well so um, you'll see that um, I, I I get into Windows 7 and then once I'm in Windows 7, you know, on my SSD, I can then, um, 
you know, I attached the, the mechanical hard drive and I, and I have access to that so I can get all my files and that's what I ended up doing so I got all my files from there and lucky for me I had just bought um, a micro SD card from Amazon um, it was a 128 gigabyte micro SD card so I used that uh, and I put all my my files onto that and uh, I realized a lot of the stuff I had was junk I didn't even want it, it was old, I didn't want it so I got rid of most of it and what was left was maybe a hundred gigabytes of useful information that I wanted to keep um, you know like videos and so on and just personal documents and I, I got all of that and I put it onto my phone um, on my SSD so after that I I then uh, formatted and the so I, I went I was in Windows 7 on the SSD and I I just formatted the uh, the mechanical drive from there so it allows you to delete the volume you know delete it completely so that's what I ended up doing um, and then I loaded uh, Windows 7 onto onto that mechanical hard drive and then I upgraded that to Windows 10 so that's that's what I did in the end yeah now you, you might have some issues um, with trying to do that I think it's uh, an MRS you know it's an MRS hard drive and then it goes to GIF or something I forget what the acronyms are but um, um, I will make two separate uh, videos showing you how to basically overcome any issues that you have any issues that I think that you might have trying to uh, put Windows 7 back onto your mechanical hard drive there'll be two additional videos on the end of this one to show you how to do that um, so just go to the if, if you're if you if you already have, have tried this you know you, you you can format your SSD get your files and then format your mechanical hard drive and go ahead and um, you know just use your your computer as normal um, then it's fine you don't have to you know look at the other videos but if you're having any problems just check those videos out as well uh, so I'll put a couple of videos at the end showing you about a couple of issues that I came up with and um, I can't remember off the top of my head what it was exactly one was about partitions um, uh, where you you manage your hard drives you know your space so you go into start menu you go to manage um, and then you you look at your your hard drives and you it's the partitions that create a problem it has to be one uh, one partition you can't have multiple partitions to format the the hard drive that kind of thing but I, you'll see the videos at the end anyway um, so yeah so um, if you can do this if you can uh, just format your SSD for those of you who use the SSD as a cache this is perfect for you you know you don't need a Windows 10 startup disk you don't need anything you just put your operating system on that and then use it as um, as you would you know uh, as a normal operating system and then you get access to your me mechanical hard drive and you can get all your files like that but this was an extreme situation I had no choice um, I tried absolutely everything all the options nothing worked um, the caching didn't work and remember all these problems that happen they happen after an update so every time you do an update there is a potential for this I am going to experiment with my own system I'm going to try and um, you know configure it differently so I'm thinking about putting the operating system permanently on the SSD and having all my files um, saved and everything that I want to have saved on the mechanical drive and then if the operating system fails then my my files are safe anyway I can just format that it doesn't take long anyway it takes you know uh, half an hour an hour whatever it is to, to form up um, the SSD I am thinking about that I'm thinking about doing that um, I will experiment with it if it works for me I will let you guys know I'll make a video of it how I did it and how it works um, but um, also be aware that uh, when you do upgrade to Windows 10 uh, if you are using um, SRT you know, smart response technology or you're trying to make your computer super fast with the recent updates it doesn't let you do it it doesn't work anymore so um, I tried absolutely everything with it it just keeps crashing I mean you can you can download the up-to-date software I think it's version 16 or 14 I forget which one but when you do download it you'll try and use it and it won't work you, you know you'll, you'll come up with the software um, software will launch and you'll you'll see what you normally see but when you go to accelerate the accelerate option there'll be nothing there you can't use it so 
uh, be aware of that and even if you just use the um, the normal stuff you know what you got on your with your computer when you bought the, the motherboard you know you get a CD um, even if you use the software on there you will still see that there's um, you know it, it'll, it'll launch but when you try to accelerate it'll say there's there's been a fatal error and it can't do it so you have these problems um, so that's that anyway guys um, have a look at what I've done and try it out for yourself if you have any problems just comment uh, in the section below and I'll try and get back to you um, so far I haven't let anyone down every single person who's commented I've helped them um, in some way and um, yeah uh, thanks for watching um, and uh, like subscribe and comment and um, um, let me know what you think or if you've had any similar problems okay any out see you later guys